Geekers. Maximize! Greetings and salutations, viewers. It's I, Geekers, coming to you live and in living color with this new Transformers review, Transformers Rise of the Beast, Rhinox. No, this is not the Studio Series. This is the regular line Rhinox, and, uh... Well, Rhinox happens to be one of my favorite characters in Transformers, so I had to pick him up. Uh, this is his Beast Mode. We're going to show him Robot Mode next. The only complaint I have for this robot mode, or the beast mode, is this giant hole here. I feel like there could have been some panel lining or something, or uh, like uh, something that could have gone here. I do believe like there's an upgrade kit that you can get that kind of seal off this. But um, other than that, that's that to me that is my only complaint about this toy is that giant hole. Um, I do like the storage of having his two Mace Gatling saw blade guns here that you can mount on the side. Uh, I love how the Technic Organic, almost a, I want to say Transmetal 2 vibe to the overall beast mode. Um, because you have like the organic and the, the robotic, especially like here in the face. Like his horn is uh, more metallic looking and you have the robotic eyes here around the jaw uh, mouth can open up so I do love that uh, you have the robotic looks to the legs but it, overall it's like the like like transmittal 2 or kind of like a steampunk ish vibe to the beast mode which I kind of like I really it, it's an aesthetic that some people don't like, but to me, it just has that really nice pop. And after these messages, we'll show you the robot mode. Are you looking for a healthier and tastier energy drink? Try Dubby. Made from coffee fruit extract, it's a nootropic that helps with mental focus and comes in a huge variety of custom flavors. It costs only a dollar per serving, which is cheaper than those other canned energy drinks and Starbucks. It's free from sugars, fillers, and artificial ingredients and ships worldwide. Click the link below and use coupon code GEEKERS313 for a 10% discount. Try W today and say goodbye to your old energy drinks forever. Alright, and we're back and here we have Rhinox in his robotic mode. His robot mode. And I will say I like this robot mode. Um, very technical organic as the ones in the movie showed. Uh, I really do like this look. Uh, he can hold his two guns very well. Articulation, head can move 360. Arms can fully rotate 360. Out. Um, not much of an upper bicep swivel. But you know you have the lower swivel and arms can bend that way. Uh, waist, fully articulated waist, out and in on the legs. Nice little bend. We do have a knee bend. We have a foot pivot as well and an ankle pivot. I really do like this. Um, I have seen a repro labels or also known as toy hacks. Uh, sticker set for this that I'm really thinking about getting to really make him pop a little bit more and if I do get it I will do a, like a review of how the stickers look on him. Uh, his face sculpt I will say I really do like it. Very very menacing very Rhinox look face sculpt. I do enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, he is an awesome figure, and uh, I recommend anybody getting him. If you can get the Studio Series, awesome. I haven't been able to find any of the Studio Series Beast Wars figures or the the Buzzworthy Bumblebee ones, uh, but I do like it. Um, to me, the like my only complaint in the robot mode, you do have the back kibble. But not as bad as it could be. I mean, if you do everything, fold everything in right, it does look a little bit better. But there's that 
big gap right there. Um, a lot of a little bit of the kibble, but to me, because of what he does, it's reminiscent of a lot of the Beast Wars toys. So to get certain things, you you were going to have a lot of back kibble or uh, uh, vehicle mo or a head mode scene in both modes. But either way, this is a really nice figure. I do recommend him. Uh, he goes great with my other figures. Sadly, for this line, I've only been able to get him, the Studio Series RC, which is a smaller one, and Optimus Prime. I would love to get other ones as well, because they're nice. Um, now, to really, if you do like what I do here, please hit that like and subscribe buttons, uh, hit the bell notification for when I go and post a new video. I'm really trying to get back into doing my reviews. Uh, like I said, I will be doing these reviews as well as redo review or retro toy reviews. I do have a few of those. I got a couple of other things that I've really been meaning to review that I just haven't. Um, but there again, uh, this has been Geekers with Transformers Rise of the Beast Rhinox. And I'll catch you next time.